this week's video is separate travel goes Hollywood as we go to visit some Hollywood stars, eat some hot dogs, and spend a day at the races. So come on and join us in this adventure. Great, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this week we are just outside of Los Angeles, about 20 to 25 miles from the city center. We are in San Demas, California, which is just on the edge of the hills, the mountains, which you can kind of see behind us. And we found a really nice campground. It's called Benelli's Buffs, and it's on a reservoir. I think this is a it's a privately run campground on county property, if I'm correct. I haven't confirmed that, but that's my suspicion how this is. It's a beautiful campground. I mean, it is huge. There are sites that are located down near the water. There are sites where you have a beautiful view of the canyon. They're all full hookup. They do have tent sites as well. They have a very nice laundromat. Yeah, one of the best. One of the best, or the best, that we've ever been to right on site. And they do have a small market. They have a swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is a really nice area. And we liked it because it was very convenient for us to get into Los Angeles because we had tickets to go to the Coliseum this week. And we saw the NASCAR race. Yep, we saw the... What was it called? The Bush Light Clash at the at the LA Coliseum. It was the first time that it was ever held there. Los Angeles Coliseum. For the Bush Clash, NASCAR race. Yep, yeah, first time they've ever raced here, first time we've ever been here. We really enjoyed our, our day at the races. Yep. It was a first time event and really unique. And my driver won, so I was happy about that. My driver spun, otherwise <laughs> he would have won. Oh, okay. But in any event, it was a great event. We had great seats. We were not in the sun, which, you know, we both like that. Um, yeah, it, that was a good time. Also, uh, on another day, we drove into Hollywood and visited the Hollywood Forever Cemetery where there are several uh, celebrities, stars buried, including Estelle Getty. And for you more senior folks that probably will remember, Douglas Fairbanks Sr. and Jr., Mickey Rooney, James Mansfield. Yeah, well, let's um, show them some video. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we did film it and we'll show that now. Today we're off to explore Hollywood, visit some cemeteries where famous celebrities are buried. We begin our tour with uh, Mel Blanc, 
Now, if you're like a lot of us and you grew up watching Saturday morning cartoons and the Looney Tunes, you knew the voice of most of those characters with Mel Blanc. Here's the final resting place for Johnny Ramone of the Ramones, legendary guitarist. This is Dee Dee Ramone, also from the Ramones. Also known as Douglas Coven. Here's the final resting place of Faye Ray. You probably remember her from a little movie called King Kong. This is the memorial for Douglas Fairbanks and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Both of them were Hollywood movie stars. Douglas Fairbanks was a silent movie star and his son was a movie star in the talkies, I guess you would say. Don Adams. You probably remember him from the TV show Get Smart. And his shoe phone. Looks like he's got one more call to make. Cecil B. DeMille's, who was a big Hollywood producer, did a lot of the big blockbuster movies in the 50s. And his wife will be here. Jane Manfield. Starlet. Angelica Houston, is that his daughter? Yes, yes it is. We could have Chow's. This is Griffith Jenkins Griffith. And he is this quite elaborate marker. Now he was the man responsible for donating the land that is now Griffith Park and leaving behind the money to build the Greek Theater and the Griffith Observatory. It says here he had a run-in with a law and he shot his wife in the face, which he claims was an accident, and served two years in San Quentin. This is the final resting place of Vampira. If you are a fan of late night horror movies, you might recognize her. She was also in Ed Wood's Plan 9 from Outer Space. It says here that admirers still leave plastic fangs on her grave. Here's Estelle Getty, one of our favorite Golden Girls. And then after we visited the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, it wasn't too far to go to um, Hollywood uh, um, Boulevard. Yeah. Boulevard, yeah, Hollywood Boulevard, right down in uh, Hollywood and Highland is what I was trying to think of saying. And that's uh, where the Walk of Fame is, all the stars and everything. So we walked that and saw a lot of the stars. We saw the Dolby Theater where the Oscars are held. This was formerly the Kodak Theater. And I'm an old Kodaker. Right. So we spent a couple hours walking up and down the sidewalks, looking at the different stars. We've made our way to Hollywood and Vine, and we're walking up Hollywood Boulevard. Checking out the stars on the sidewalk as we do it, and seeing all the famous names. Who'd you see? Um, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. Oh. Hey, we just saw him. <laughs> sort of. Humphrey Bogart.
got the LA famous hot dogs that everyone talks about. They were okay. Yeah, they were. I wouldn't say they're the best hot dogs. It, it's yeah, it's I think it's what you're used to and we're used to a little bit of a different type of hot dog. Right. And I think a lot of people go there. Yeah, they probably think they have good food. But we oh, went I, just to see, well, to taste the hot dogs, but to see what other celebrities may have been there. Right. And, uh, yeah, so that was fun. We also visited another um, donut shop, which is a favorite in L.A., Randy's Donuts. Yep. So, th they were good. They yep. were good. I still have my favorite in Buffalo, Paula's Donuts. So if you've never been to Paula's Donuts, I strongly urge you to go visit if you like donuts. All right, we'll have to do a Buffalo video someday. Okay. But this campground, we I think we really, really liked it. There's a, a beautiful little park next to it. It's the county park that has playgrounds and walking paths and biking paths. And picnic areas. Yeah, we, we checked that all out and it was really nice. it out. This is adjacent to the campground where we're staying and would you say you liked about the park? Really most everything. Uh, this particular area it has a it's a beautiful area it has a nice walkway it offers swimming and uh, you can take out small boats, canoes, kayaks. It looks like they even have pedal boats for the warmer weather. Today is a beautiful day in, well, are we in Southern California? Yes. Uh, in the LA area, it, uh, it is a beautiful day, warm and sunny, which I understand is unusual for California in the winter, but in fact, it's supposed to get warmer as we go through the week. So today we decided to take the dogs out for a little walk and get them some, as well as us, some exercise. Yeah, so we wandered through the park and checked it out. It was it's pretty neat. And the campground is adjacent to the park. It's actually on the park property, I think, but it's managed by a private uh, company. So it's not a social, it's not directly a regional park campground. It is a essentially a private campground. But it's very nice, and we'll show you more of that later. flying over you or helicopters. And helicopters, yes. Yeah. So you, you get a little bit of that noise, but it's not all day and it's not like being at a no. major airport where planes are coming in and landing for commercial purposes. It's more of a people taking flight lessons or having private planes there. Right, right. And that would only be a very, very small downside to this part. Right. Because I have to say, this is one of my favorite that I would def that we would definitely come back to and stay. Right. I can't tell you the, the exact price what we paid per night for this, but I will link it down below um, to let you know what it is. But it it's fairly reasonable, I think, for the Los Angeles area. Where I mean, our last campground, we were in the eighty dollars a night frame. It wasn't that expensive. Um, it was a little bit less than that. And the only benefit to our previous campground was its proximity to Disneyland. Right. So if you haven't seen that video, check right. the link in this right. for that too. Well, we're not done with the Los Angeles area. We're moving today. We've been here a week. Our, typically, we've been staying places in about a week period. But we're going over to Ventura, California, which is just a little bit north of Los Angeles. 
it still gives us access into Los Angeles, so I think we're going to go back in there and check out some more things that we haven't seen yet because there's still a lot to see in that area. Right. Um, but you're going to have to wait until the next video to see what we do then. But for now, I think that's it. Right. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. And if you would, hit the bell for notifications. That way you know when we post new videos and you won't miss any. And until the next time, guys. We'll see you down the road. Take care. Bye. Bye. Be sure to join us next week as we continue our tour of the Los Angeles area from our new base camp in Simi Valley, where we visit Ronald Reagan Museum. We travel back into Los Angeles to visit the Peterson Museum and their James Bond exhibit, and we get to go to Universal City. All that and more on the next Zephyr Travels.